Hey everybody, how you doing? It's West Coast Truth Tube. It is Wednesday, June 15, 2011, and it is 10 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I'm going to do a Ring of Fire update for like the last seven days. It's been really, really, really active and some major earthquakes going on. This is a view from Earthquake 3D, and this is the last seven days, and this is just threes and aboves. You can kind of see where the swarms are going on. I'm going to zoom into each region on a different map here in a minute. I'm going to go from uh, California here, go up the coast here, go down to Japan and go down to the left. So this is uh, pretty much how it looks here on the Earthquake 3D. I'll zoom in a little bit. So the last seven days, three and a half and above. Kind of see what's going on. I'll even go fives and aboves. What's going on? Are four and a half and above, I guess. Still pretty, pretty, pretty major stuff. There was a 6.6 .6 today down here. New Zealand, New Zealand got hammered the other day. Some island regions off Indonesia are just getting pounded. 6.4 over here. Just amazing stuff for the Ring of Fire. All right, we'll get off of this one. Let's go up here. This is the global incident map. You kind of see where the swarms are happening up here. Japan's still getting hammered. Down here got hammered. It's still just way active over here is New Zealand. Papua New Guinea's getting popped. And these, I believe, are the last three days. All right, what I'm going to do is um, start up here in the... Um, I mean, you can see what's happening in the California area. Last three days. Oh, wow. I just left there. Okay, um, now I'm going to try to go up and to the right. So, see Washington. And this one kind of leaves off uh, Canada and stuff. So, what I will do is start here. This is um, Canada where it starts right up above uh, Washington area. These are like the last 30 days, but you can kind of get an idea of the activity. Recent are in yellow. Shows the magnitude there. Go up a little bit further. It's going up a little bit further there. And even further north, just a little bit south of the Alaska area. So there's a lot of activity, lots and lots of activity. Let me go up a little, um, yeah, let's do this since we're over here. This one right here, because we were already up, we visited here, went up through here, seen all the Alaskan ones. This one popped the other day and it was kind of strange to me. Somebody else said they'd seen them there before. <coughs> Excuse me. Go down to Japan here real quick. These are the last seven days in Japan. They're still getting just hammered. And poor folks over there, man. That's just crazy. All right, and let's take it down this way. This is where I'm gonna get lost. This was right here. This one right here happened today. I believe this was a six point something. Let me go back a little bit here. Yeah, that was a six point five. That was pretty big. They've been getting peppered all throughout the last seven days also. Alrighty, and then let us go down a little bit further and see how the folks down here are doing in the New Zealand area. Man, that's just too much stuff to handle there. And these, I believe these will show the last 20 to see if they've kind of mellowed out a little bit. Last 30. 
We've gone down to three twos, three eights, two nines. They had some pretty major activity the other day. Three eights, three sevens. Man, they're just getting peppered hard, three and above. That's crazy after everything they've been through there. All right, I've been through all of these. Let's go right here. What I did on Google Earth is I put the volcanoes and earthquakes on here so we can kind of see what's going on around where. And I believe these have actives, inactives, and everything. So just kind of give you an idea of what's going on and where these earthquakes are in relation to uh, some of the volcanoes. This is the ones that freak me out up here. There's so much activity up through here and all of these little volcanoes, big volcanoes actually. Just go around here, look at all these earthquakes happening right around. I mean, these are your fault lines too, so I mean, it's not uncommon for little ones, twosies, and threesies to pop off, but. And these look, these are all recent. And 13th, 12th, 11th. Uh, seems like other people were saying, man, right around where your fault lines and your volcanoes are, you've been seeing a lot of activity. Did I show you guys the Russian one? I think I did. Let me pop down here real quick. In case I didn't go to this one. Oh yeah, I saw it. We went there. <clears throat> Look at all this. Japan, man. Enough is enough. Zooming out a little bit. I'll go back down here. The Ring of Fire. It's a little bit longer video than I usually do. I just want to be a little bit more in depth on some of the stuff I learning as I go. All these suckers. That's just crazy. Six point six. Wow.
all these down here. It's just crazy. Alrighty, folks. This is too long and too boring. I usually do two minute ones. I was told to do a little two minute volcano, I mean, two minute updates and get her done. Just wicked. Go back home here for a minute. Alrighty. Till the next time, it's Ken B. Peace. I am out.